Are you looking for the best baby auto rockers? I've got this one right here that I want to talk to you guys about because we've been using it with our newborn and I've really been liking it and I'm kind of wondering if it's safe for overnight sleeping. Let's talk about that. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have. And well, a friend gave us this for free. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So what we have here is the Fisher Price Rock and Play. And I, it's an automatic baby rocker. So it does come with a cord here. It's plugged in here. And I already have it plugged in all the way down here. It's, uh, I didn't measure it, but it looks like it's about six to eight feet, six to seven feet long, I'd say. And uh, just to go a little overview about what we have here, they have a, a nice cozy padded area right in here. There's a mesh screening on the side to let air flow through. There's the metal bar up and top and around that uh, gives it its frame. It does have this easy fold function on there, so you simply press that in and it'll fold down and collapse down, which is very nice if you're, uh, if you travel or you want to bring it somewhere, go to grandma's house or whatever. It does have this buckle in here. Uh, honestly, we don't really use the buckle, <laughs> but um, I'm sure they had some kind of safety reason reason right there for it. But the creme de la creme, if you will, of this rocker is that it's automatic. So as you can see on the side here, there's three different settings and then there's a few other buttons on the front here. So the first one is off. Well, we had to do a little edit because the baby woke up. <laughs> So he's gonna join us for the rest of the video, hanging out in the rock and play right here. But what I was going over is the different settings that they have here. So there's three different settings. The first one is off, which is the red, the red light there. The second one is to have it rock for six hours, which if you press it, it turns on the music and it should start rocking. <laughs> Why is it not? Maybe I need to press the plus. There you go, you gotta get it started going with the plus there. And then if you wanna turn it down, you can make it go a tad bit slower. And then the same thing with pressing it again, it just turns it to the blue, which is only 30 minutes. So if you wanna do like a nap time kind of thing, and it also plays the music. If you don't want the music to play, you can either just turn it down using the volume up and down buttons there. This is how loud it can get. Or they, you can also do, uh, do you see that that's a leaf? Sorry, hang on. That's a leaf and music. So if you just prefer nature sounds, you can press that and it'll do just some different nature sounds. If you press it again, it does play different music. So you might wanna find the right song or nature sound that you want. You just kinda of have to toggle through them. There's no like setting it to whatever you like or whatever. Um, so that's the basics of it right there. Now I was wondering if this is safe for overnight sleeping. We have not used it for overnight sleeping because we have a docketot and we really enjoy the docketot because we can actually put him in the bed and then whenever my wife needs to uh, feed him during the night, she can just kind of roll over, grab him and, and put him right next to her as opposed to having to get out of the bed to go and get him out of this thing. So, um, is it safe for overnight sleeping? I don't know. It's, it, apparently it's safe for up to six hours. So if your baby sleeps for six hours or less, then I guess it's safe. I, that's the question. I want to know down in the comments below from you dads and moms. There might be some moms watching this video. Um, do you think that something like this is safe for overnight sleeping? Or do you prefer something like a crib or a docketot or a co-sleeper or something else like that? Uh, apparently they claim, Fisher claims that it's good for six hours and um, I, I did, don't have the box for it, so I don't know what it says on the box or anything like that. But um, if you guys have any information about that, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys wanna check this thing out, I'm gonna link that up down in the description below. You guys can go and read other people's reviews about it, not just take my word for it. I'm just giving you uh, what we use it for, and we mainly use it for naps. And one thing that I noticed about it too, whenever I need to give him a bottle and he's super tired, I'll lay him down in this. And it's nice and it's got kind of a recline to it. So he's, um, he's not totally laying flat. And I can feed him a bottle right here. I can feed you a bottle. <laughs> and I can get the rocker going. And it actually puts him to sleep uh, while he's while he's nursing the bottle which works really really well because you don't have to worry about going and putting him down because if y'all have been dads before you know that whenever you go to put down a baby that's like the time where you wonder is he gonna stay down or is she gonna stay down but with something like this we don't have to worry about that do we no we don't 
because you just fall right to sleep. <laughs> if you guys want to watch his birth vlog, I'll link out that right there. I put it on our other channel because it's not really fit for this channel. But uh, I thought you guys might like that uh, since he's making his first appearance here on the Dad Reviews. If you guys want to watch more of our videos, including that birth vlog, I'll link them up right there on the screen. I'll see y'all over in those videos. Remember, the link to the to, for this thing is down in the description below. That thumbs up is always appreciated, and Dad out!